Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Marilyn Darling Show and welcome to another episode of 30 Inks 30 Days. How is everyone doing today? Are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day wherever you are in the world. Today we are looking at a brownish orange ink from KWZ KWZ Monarch. Thanks go out to Chris Signs for providing the sample for this review. <clears throat> Today's pen will be using the Fountain Pen Revolution Himalaya version 2 with an ultra flex nib. If you guys haven't gotten an ultra uh, Fountain Pen Revolution ultra flex nib, when he's having one of these buy one get one free sales, you don't know what you're missing out on, let me tell you. <clears throat> and the Ultraflex is definitely worth the upcharge. Ask anybody. So, this is our comparison panel. It's kind of a brownish, orangey ink. Nice for this time of year. Sample came like this. <clears throat> our ink swatch. And water resistance test shows that it does have a little bit of staying power, but not quite enough that I would uh, want to use it on the outside of an envelope for fear it may wash away. <coughs> Here is our toilet paper chromatography. And all I see is orange. I see the, like a weird green bit here. I don't know if that's from like a permanency bit or what and then it's got like orange and then some like yellow and even like dark dark orange this is a very interesting ink and it didn't flow how I thought it was gonna flow <clears throat> I thought it was gonna do like a gradient rainbow but no it's got it's like all over the place so that's very interesting okay let's do some paper review shall we this is the Pen and Gear Memo Book from Walmart.com. Zoom in just a little bit. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. <coughs> Ayush 100 GSM paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Lightweight traveler's notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Super lightweight traveler's notebook paper. No feathering, normal ghosting. 52 GSM Tomoe River. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. <coughs> Frog in my throat. It says Moleskin uh, 70 GSM. Feather like a chicken, bled through the page. I would not use fountain pen ink on this paper. The jot journal from the Dollar Tree. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is Nemos Marmon Nemosini 80 GSM dot, pa uh, dot grid. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is Oxford Optic Paper <clears throat> 90 GSM. No feathering, little tiny bits of ghosting. Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Lamy Booklet, 90 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Exceed, 100 GSM, heavyweight paper from Walmart.com. I can't tell if that was my mistake or if it's spreading into the page. It does look like it's spreading into the page. 
And it did bleed through just a little bit. A little bit of ghosting. Alright, <clears throat> this is Unison Composition Book from Target.com for 50 cents. Feather like a chicken. Bled through the page. I can no longer re recommend the Unic Unison Composition Book, so don't bother. This is Up and Up Wide Roll Composition Book, also from Target. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is Buffet Handmade Paper from Italy. It does look like it's trying to spread into the page, but no bleeding, no ghosting. Rhodia Dot Pad 80 GSM. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Nanami 7C's 68 GSM Tumaway River. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. CVS Caliber Notebook Paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oxford Notebook Paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Mead Wide Rolled Notebook Paper. Oi! Feather like a chicken. Bled to the page. I would not use fountain pen ink on this paper. Mead Five Star Notebook Paper. Again, feather like a chicken. Ghosted through the page. HP Premium 32 pound copy paper. It does look like it's trying to sp spread into the page and just the minimalist amount of ghosting. Agave cross section pad. No feathering. A little bit of ghosting. JNB copper plate graph pad from johnneilbooks.com. A little bit of feathering and a little bit of ghosting. <clears throat> Original Crown Mill 100 GSM paper. Teeny bit of spread into the page, but no bleeding, no ghost. Little tiny hints of ghosting. All right, let's do a comparison panel. I had to get a bigger box for my other things, so. Okay, where are we? We're doing orange. Orange, you're glad I didn't say orange again? No? Okay. All right. Do. I'm gonna bring up the lights a little bit. <clears throat> All right. This is a KWZ Monarch next to Pannonia Resvoris Copper. Diamine Peach Punch Multiverde Mandarin Orange Diamine Sunset Wearing Gall Keong He Noodlers Summer Tanager Jayaba Orange Indian Sailor Apricot Laba, Laba Apollo Robert Oster Orange Diamine Wonderland, Jeaba Orange Soleil, Noodler's Dragon's Napalm, Diamine Pumpkin, Van Diemen's Sailor's Delight, Diamine Deep Dark Orange, Diamine Vintage Copper, Tacha Hokusai Benetuzzi, Colorverse Martian, Colorverse Tango, Mont Blanc Lucky Orange, Kyo Iro Moonlight of Higashiyama. This is the one that I thought it would be most like, but it's kind of, this one's more brown. 
Diamine Peach Haze, Sailor Manyo Sakura, <coughs> Birmingham Pen Company Marigold, Kiwi Inks Red Panda. These are kind of similar. Like if I didn't know better, I'd think that they were twins. Pure Pens Pending Sands. This is another one that's kind of similar. Uh, Tasha Shirako Koyami. These are kind of like cousins. Jayabang, Corner Lined Asian. Again, cousins. Pen DBS 154. Califolio Inti. These are very similar. Malta Verde Topaz. Noodlers, Habanero. Lamy Mango. MMD, California Sunset. Stipulate Saffron. Noodlers, Apache Sunset. Noodlers, Operation Overlord Orange. Robert Oster, NG Special. Malta Verde Mango Mousse. Ferris Wheel Press Autumn in Auburn. Birmingham Pen Company Solar Storm. Ferris Wheel Press Sparkling Champagne. Sailor Manyo Yamabuki. Private Reserve Orange Silver and Diatramentus Mahatma Gandhi. Now, because this is kind of an orangey brown ink, I do want to look and see if there are any orangey browns that I have that I can show you. Acker Ackerman Espiari Brown, Hioa Pecan. Diatramentus Urban Sienna, Diamine Saddle Brown, Giaba Nude, Diamine Sepia, Diamine Golden Brown, Noodler's Golden Brown, Diamine Brandy Snap, these are very similar too. Diamine Terracotta, Graf von Faber Castell, Cognac Brown, and Diamine Autumn Oak. Well, what did you guys think of today's ink? Are you guys looking for orangey brownish ink with some kind of interesting arts, artsy properties let me know in the comment section below that is all for today i want to thank you all for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed this one i hope that you learned something please share this video with your friends follow me on social media like comment subscribe Ring the little bell, make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you, and I will be back very soon with another video. So, take care until then. Okay, love you, bye, have a great day.